moving over to the wide receiver position, let's take a look at Josh Reynolds of the Rams going up against the Broncos. This Rams offense is so explosive. Do you think there's enough to go around to Reynolds? Well, I, I think the fact that they're so explosive is the reason I want Josh Reynolds. Cooper Cup, Brandon Cooks, both were concussed in the first half of last week's game. While Sean McVay has expressed optimism that one or both could be available Sunday, Concussions are unpredictable. There is no such thing as a mild concussion. Everybody takes their own time. Remember, Brandon Cooks was just concussed in the Super Bowl last season. This one looked just as nasty. Cooper Cup, while we didn't see it, we have no idea how severe it could be, which means both Cup and Cooks could miss this Sunday of action. And as Maria was saying, the Rams' offense is explosive. You want as many pieces as you can get. And while that may be good news for the tight ends and Tyler Higby and Gerald Everett, we know it's good news for the wide receivers. Robert Woods is wide receiver one. Josh Reynolds becomes the wide receiver two. We saw him being used just as Cooper Cup and or Brandon Cooks was when he got in the game in the second half. He's explosive, and with more practice reps, he's going to be effective. I know you may not know if Cup or Cooks is going to be available this Sunday when you put in your waiver claims, but I think you have to take a shot on Reynolds just in case. It won't cost you all that much, but I think the return on investment could be very large this Sunday. I love Josh Reynolds if both these guys don't wind up playing. To Greg's point, I think as a general rule with the waiver wire, you want to be more proactive than reactive. So if there's a chance that Cooks or Cup might not be 100%, it's definitely wise to consider picking up Josh Reynolds.